Uh, oh, the camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Steve. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> okay. We are looking at Steve's new coffee pot. He's had it for a year or so, but it's the first outing and uh, it's still shiny. Uh, uh, he hasn't noticed me. Good job. Just call me many beers. Yeah. 
Yeah. Off it all. Yeah, medieval. Yeah. It's a new new knife as well. Yeah. Enzo. Fire steel's brand new. Yeah. Tested with my uh, Leatherman with a saw. Then we know if it's rubbish or not. <laughs> yeah. On the other side. Oh, it's semi rubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brand new in it, that's the trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we have a little drizzle as well, so I'm gonna put away the camera. Yeah, so we're having a quick break. Managed to get a Fire going quickly and set up the. Yeah, we've got a bit of rain. Yeah. There's a constant drizzle, we might not show on the camera. But yeah, it's kind of non stop. What are you cooking? Me, I have got Polska, which is like a mixture of barley, um, uh, vampires. Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of all the good things in life. Yeah, exactly. Just like a meat stodge, really. Yeah. Uh, also called uh, tulsa. Mm, yeah. yeah. Basically a uh, sausage uh, mix. which mix with some extra. And squeezy cheese. <laughs> and squeezy cheese. Down there is the uh, river and uh, about 10 meters down or something. So I'm gonna make uh, bulgur. So I'm just boiling water right now and uh, some vegetable soup, soup. My plan is to mix it and eat it like a savage. <laughs> eat like a bushcrafting hero. <laughs> like the squeezy cheese one. Yes, please. That's the thing now, sir. So. so yeah, cutting, me, cutting, me, cutting you off again, but we'll be back for an update. It's a lovely day in the forest, and uh, this night we spend it in a campsite <laughs> in this cabin. <coughs> it was uh, the heavens just opened for three hours plus, and we kind of not really, but uh, the canoes uh, flooded a bit. So we had like two or three gallons of water in them just from the rain. 
and uh, it was almost like the water surface didn't want to accept the new water, it's just bouncing on top. <coughs> so, uh, there's Steve. Morning. <laughs> it slept on a cold loft and I yeah, it was. We got a radiator, but I think the temperature last I checked was six or seven degrees Celsius. So we decided to uh, abort the trip uh, mainly because we pushed it far too hard yesterday, and uh, just to make distance. <coughs> and uh, in the rain, it uh, really took a toll. So, uh, to be on the safe side, and it's not fun when <laughs> you're pushing yourself to that limit. Uh, we decided to take a couple of small adventures instead of the rest of the week, so I'll bring you along for those. Um, can't really, really get the scope of how much it rained when you look at this today, but it's Really beautiful. With the cobwebs in it. You can see if I can zoom in. Oh. So we'll see what the rest of the week has to offer. We're up out in the local woods foraging. I'm gonna look for Usti and uh, Steve's my trusted guide, and he will guide me to greatness. <laughs> Lingonberries, yeah. Yeah, they're ready, yeah. Yes. Sure, I'm getting. Very nice. He threw it beside his head and then. Yeah, moose poop. Moose poop! I <laughs> also got some blueberries. It's quite late in the year, but uh, still, still some around. And uh, lots of mushrooms. I'm not gonna pick mushrooms now because, uh, yeah. Usnia. Only walked 10 meters from the first find. So, this is also a good spot, no big roads in the area. And so it won't pick up nasty from there. <laughs> We're gonna make some distance and bring you back later. Came across a whole field of uh, in Sweden it's called Åkerfäken. I'm gonna put the Latin name in the description along with the English one. It's uh, full of silica and uh, it's really a bit like shark skin. So you can um, use it as sandpaper and you can also hone a blade on it. So back in the day they used to dry these out and on the big ones there is a pithy uh, core that's very spongy. So you can use that as a wick in a oil lamp for example. Really useful plant. I'm following Steve. We are going to the spot, one of the spots where it was 
burning last year. We had a record dry year in Sweden, a lot of fire, forest fires. So, uh, Steve is kind of showing the way, and uh, we're gonna see what kind of plants are favoring the treatment. So, uh, it'll be fun to see. This is the place. It, uh, they planted new plants. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I can't really tell what it is. Could be uh, pine. Anyway, you see a darkened bark, and uh, this tree is dead. I could probably push it over quite easily. And uh, we're looking for new growth. Let's see what's uh, Coming back, clear signs of burnt earth and stuff. Obviously, slow growing lichens and stuff like that will be quite uh, heavily affected. This is the plant I showed you before, the uh, one you can use as a sandpaper. So it seems to be liking it. The, it's been raining a lot, so all the ditches are flowing quite fast. I mean, quite fast flowing water, I should say. Ligon is coming back. So. You can go watch Steve's video if you want to know more about the local stuff. He's more up to date. You can see some fireweed. Somewhat in the middle, not really, but just gonna give you a spin around. And uh, they've left some trees for uh, birds and uh, insects and stuff, so that's good. And uh, just gonna show you the base of this one. And uh, here it looks like they planted new spruce. I'm pretty sure the other ones I showed you were pine. I mean, imagine working under these conditions trying to stop a forest fire. That's right. Sorry, Bob. Yeah? Well, just know, for those that don't know, this is how a pine cone would work. This is how the nature designed it. So it's fully closed and then in the flames and heat they open and the seeds come out. Yep. Nature's little seed pod. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, yeah. So now it's uh, a race to uh, to win ground so to speak for the flora. And uh, 
there's a lot, a lot of new shoots. Blueberries and lingon and everything. So, yep. Fast, it comes back. Yeah. It was only last summer, or last May. Yeah, yeah. In, May. In a bit over a year. And it uh, probably smoldered until the winter or something. Yeah, I mean, after they extinguished it, I think it was, I'm sure it was three or four weeks. Three or four weeks of constant helicopter dumping. Yeah. Just, but yeah, and then obviously all through winter. Um, yeah, they kept checking it. So, uh, and they took a lot of trees down. Yeah. It, it can burn uh, through the ground via the roots and stuff, so it can flare up again if if it if it's the right circumstances or wrong, however you want to look at it. So we'll go back to the car and uh, yeah, just brought you along to show the place. I'm go gonna link uh, to a couple of Steve's videos of the fire and. Uh, See the madness, madness that was going on. Uh, it's uh, Saturday now, and uh, I'm heading home. It's been uh, raining like this uh, all week. There were a couple of hours here and there uh, when it didn't rain, but. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy. So um, we aborted the trip early, uh, and that was after a monster rain. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we would have struggled to uh, keep warm that night. It uh, went down to five degrees Celsius, and uh, yeah. It would have been a struggle against uh, hypothermia, so uh, yeah, I think it was the right decision to cut the trip short, and uh, we uh, we came out on top, so to speak. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll have our revenge next year on the weather and uh, <laughs> do another canoe trip. I'm. Uh, I'm planning uh, overnight us uh, in the near future to uh, to just get the, get get some time back from. Uh, yeah, I had some expectations of the trip, making it a five-day canoe trip would have been fun, but uh, under the circumstances, it was next to impossible. And, uh, health goes before. Uh, Any, it wouldn't have been a fun experience to speak plainly. So uh, it was a great trip anyway. Uh, always nice to meet uh, meet up with Steve and uh, Liz. So uh, yeah, heading back south and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys.